Hey guys, Matt here with 1HP and welcome back to another episode of Exercise of the Week. In this video, I'm going to be going over one of my favorite exercises for console gamers and a variant of the exercise that's going to allow you guys to strengthen your wrist and your fingers so that you guys can play more and hurt less. It specifically helps to work on the muscles that you guys utilize to press your trigger buttons on your controller. I recently worked with Kevin or PPU from CLG who had been dealing with pain at his forearm and wrist and I wanted to go over with him how he could manage it as well as prevent it. And the main goal for him was to help him understand how he could develop the endurance for the specific muscles that he utilized to press the left trigger buttons because it was on his left hand. Uh, because a lot of the times with most console games there's a distribution of movements where one hand might be pressing a trigger button more for specific binds, maybe in Fortnite you might be binding ramp and your floor onto your left hand or in a game like Smash and for Kevin specifically he L cancels mainly with his left hand. So we wanted to build up the endurance of those muscles and I had him utilize this exercise to help him recover and rehabilitate from it. In the next section, I dive deeper into some esports science and look at Kevin's specific movement which led to him overloading his muscle. If you guys want to get straight to the exercise, you can skip this part. Pew Pew Yu utilizes his left index finger for all trigger button actions for Smash. That means wave dashing, canceling, and all other tech. With the high APMs involved in Smash, it is a high amount of index finger movement over the course of a gaming session. Even for a game like Fortnite or Call of Duty, using a scuff controller may involve more middle finger movement. This means depending on how you utilize your controller, whichever finger you utilize most, it might change how you perform this exercise. And I'm going to be showing you guys different variations that will apply to each of these. What is also important to note is what the rest of the hand is doing while he's pressing the trigger button. And depending on how vigorous or quickly you're pressing the button, it may move the entire controller. The rest of your hand has to stabilize or hold onto the controller during these repeated fast movements. And this requires your other fingers to be able to manage the repeated stresses as well. Or you can think of it as stabilizing your wrist while you're pressing your L button more vigorously. That causes the controller to shake a little bit. This exercise fortunately addresses both, helping you develop the endurance for your index finger or middle finger muscles, as well as working on the muscles that will stabilize the controller while you're pressing the trigger button. So again, these exercises are meant to strengthen the muscles that allow you to press your trigger buttons on your controller for a game like Fortnite, Call of Duty, Smash, any of the other console games and also stabilize the wrist movement when you're pressing some of these buttons a little more vigorously. So let's get to them. So remember, this is meant for the hand you perform more trigger movement in with the respective game that you play. And it applies to index finger dominant movement. So just like Kevin or PPU, he utilizes his left index finger to press the trigger button more on his left hand. To perform this exercise, sit in a chair with your feet supported and start by setting your shoulders back. Assume your playing posture to perform more specific endurance training, again ensuring your shoulders are in an optimal position. Hold the bottom three triggers with your fingers as shown. Then in a slow and controlled motion, only actively move your index finger while maintaining tension in the other three fingers. Perform three sets of 12 in the morning and at night. This exercise variation applies to index and middle finger dominant movement and again it's meant for the hand you utilize more and if you utilize both your middle and index finger more often with Fortnite or Call of Duty with the scuff controller then this may be helpful for you. It is also dependent remember on how you hold the controller. To perform this exercise start by sitting in your chair with your feet supported then set your shoulders back and assume your playing posture if you want more specific training as mentioned before. Hold the bottom two triggers with your fingers as shown and then in a slow and controlled motion only actively move your index and middle finger while maintaining tension in the other two fingers. 
perform three sets of 12 in the morning and at night. So as usual, I want to make sure you guys know how to incorporate this into your daily routine because this is a strengthening exercise. I will consider first attaching it to part of your schedule so that you're very consistent with it. Utilizing a, a certain part of your day like the morning or nighttime as an anchor will allow you to be more consistent. And again, we want to do it aside from when you play because you don't want to fatigue your muscles right before you begin your gaming session to further load your hands when you're about to play. So again, morning and at nighttime is when I would recommend that you guys perform this exercise. And for those that are dealing with more acute pains, maybe you just started feeling in your wrist and hand and it's a little more painful like a 5 to 6 out of 10, I would consider performing it only one time a day. Maybe only in the morning or maybe only at night. But for, for those that have been maybe recovering or you feel like the pain is roughly at a 2 or 3 out of 10 and it's been staying around the same, you should consider performing the full volume of twice a day and that will allow you to fully recover if you stay consistent with it for about 6 weeks. And once you feel like you have a little less pain, I would definitely consider including it into your regular wrist and hand or even general body conditioning routine. Add it to the end of your workout. Add it to after you're done with your gaming sessions three times a week. I have quite a few walkthroughs that you guys can incorporate into your weekly schedule to make sure that your wrists and hands are conditioned like the 9 minute wrist warrior routine, the 9 minute perfect posture routine, the 9 minute thumb protection routine, and there's also the 6 minute post stretch. So there's quite a few routines that you guys can look through on my YouTube channel to incorporate into your week to week schedule so that you guys can just play without worrying about pain and make sure that your wrists, hands, overall body are con is conditioned to allow you to play more and hurt less. Yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, share this with anyone that you feel like it might be helpful for. And hope you guys learned a little more about how you guys can manage or even prevent injuries as a console gamer. Adios. Adios.